Science is no stranger to the big questions. From the beginning of the universe to the fabric of reality itself, we're always trying to find answers. But when it comes to the multiverse, the boundaries between right and wrong, between probable and improbable, dramatically widen, enough to leave you questioning your very existence, your very existence in time. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, would you know if you were trapped inside a parallel universe? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Midway through the 21st century, we're at a potentially crucial bridge for modern research between the macro and micro worlds. Work around quantum physics has taken off in a big way, but bizarrely, its greatest impact could yet be to do with one of the largest structures imaginable, the multiverse. Starting with Hugh Everett's Many Worlds interpretation, a then game-changing theory when it was put forward in the late 1950s, we've grown to develop a number of hypotheses around the idea that this world isn't all there is. Broadly, it's said that whenever a decision is made, reality is split into two separate planes. Usually, this is visualized via large and clear decisions, such as choosing between an apple and orange for lunch, or taking the left or right turn at a junction. The idea is that even when you decide to turn left, there's another you in another parallel universe that decides to turn right, and your lives diverge forever based on that one point in time. However, at the quantum level, the same concept can be applied to create an infinitely more intricate mesh, a truly never-ending multiverse of realities. Now, every time an atom splits, every time a molecule is made, or even every time light moves between wave and particle, a new reality is potentially born. Only here, the differences between each and every one of them are so infinitesimally small that we, in our macro state, could never hope to recognize them. In an extreme variation, we could be talking about one world where the only difference is that you have one hair less on your head than you do in this one, or another where the atmospheric makeup of a planet that's thousands of light years away is just ever so slightly different, but everything else is the same. Importantly, this isn't where all multiverse models lead. Most don't go so far, but the principles at play can still take us there. And perhaps it could be argued that it's even an inevitable endpoint. To even try to contemplate a reality web that's so closely woven between one layer and the next is, frankly, a major headache for us mere mortals. But could that mean that we're actually moving across that web all the time? We're just wholly unaware because nothing's ever actually noticeable. In a recent video, we took a closer look at the story of Lorena Garcia. To briefly recap, Garcia was aged 41 in the year 2008 when she posted claims on a Spanish online forum about how she believed she had woken up in a parallel universe. Among the apparently unexplained changes she encountered on that one fateful day were waking up in a bed made with sheets she didn't own, arriving at her place of work only to find that her office and position had changed, as if overnight, and realizing that not only was she still dating her ex-partner, but her until-yesterday current partner was literally nowhere to be found. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the story has never been fully corroborated, but some have suggested that Garcia may have fallen victim to a so-called reality slip. Her surrounding world was otherwise unchanged. She reported no major differences in global politics, for example, or fundamental physics. It was just that certain parts of her own life were inexplicably altered. It's said that Garcia herself 
believed that she had entered a kind of parallel universe. If, for the sake of argument, we take Garcia at her word, then here is an example of someone entering a parallel world and realizing that they've done so. But although the changes were apparently noticeable to Garcia, she would still have needed to skip a lot of timelines to make those changes possible, as per many world-style multiverse models. Consider her reported change of position at her place of work. How many decisions does it take for you to land a job in the first place? How many assignments need completing, meetings need to be held, deadlines need to be met, etc.? There are countless different points in time at which her path might have diverted, all of which she will have presumably had to have reversed back through, to then emerge with a different job entirely. Even the unknown bedsheets she woke up in. To buy bedsheets, you need to enter a certain shop, choose to spend a certain amount of money, decide on that one product based on countless other preferences, and all the while, the subatomic world silently hums through endless splits and decisions of its own all around you. All of those moments in time would need to have been skipped back through just for Garcia to awake on some unfamiliar cotton. Interestingly, Garcia did reportedly visit a doctor to check, among other things, whether she was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. So, even with such personally massive changes, she seemingly had some inkling to doubt herself. And, as it happens, no substances were found in her system, although doctors could find no other explanation for her experiences either. Consider then how it might feel if you ever felt your life was different, but much less dramatically so, if you felt that there was just something off, but you couldn't put your finger on what exactly that something was. You perhaps wouldn't be worried enough to visit a doctor as Garcia was, but you might be left with a real sense of unease. Of course, there are certain real-life phenomena that inspire something similar in some people, including deja vu, the Mandela effect, and lucid dreaming. Sometimes these sensations are loosely referred to as glitches in the matrix. Sometimes it's jokes that they're the multiverse at work. Regardless, if parallel universes do exist, which increasing numbers of theories reckon they do, then could we ever hope to confidently tell the difference between one and the next and the next? If we ever were presented with proof, would we believe it? Or even properly recognize it. As per some of the more extreme interpretations, the multiverse, if it does exist, is unfathomably rich and complex. In just the time it's taken for you to watch this video, reality will have subatomically split off into countless different directions, leaving you here, in this reality. But other yous, enjoying any one of those other realms. Say you had, in the last eight minutes, moved just one rung up or down, just one step left or right across the multiverse frame. Could you ever really know that it had happened? What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.